Mesh Computer sent over this, the Ryzen 1600 gaming system. It's actually a pretty good value for money and we're going to be taking a look at it in the video. I did also use this in Friday's video which is the PC gaming myths, uh, so feel free to take a look at that one, there'll be cards up above as well. Jumping into the system, I'm happy to report that it did come pretty well packed and when it comes to specs, you have a Ryzen 5 1600 and a SUS Prime A320K board which does mean that you have no overclocking here. You also have 8GB of 2400 mega DDR4 RAM, a 6GB GTX 1060, a 120GB SSD and a 1TB hard drive, a 500 watt air cool power supply, the CIT GeForce case with RGB fans uh, and Windows 10 pre-installed. Taking a look around the case, up at the top you'll find the power button and reset button in the center along with a single USB 3 port on the left and two USB 3 ports on the right as well as headphone and microphone jack. Behind the front door you'll find an SD card reader as well as two switches for the fan controllers. You also have a five and a quarter inch bay here, although it is empty, so don't worry too much about that. Just below that, you have two of the 120 millimeter RGB fans. You do get a controller included if you don't want to switch the settings and just have them on a single color, but by default, they're just cycling around and it does look pretty cool. Removing the windowed side panel, you can take a look inside the case and you will note that it is an M80X motherboard, which does mean that there is quite a lot of space inside, but overall, the actual build is pretty good. Cable management is decent as well. And there is a little bit of room for upgrades uh, here in terms of RAM anyway, where you only have one one uh, eight gig stick, so you can stick in another one if you want to have uh, a total of 16 in dual channel mode. Taking a look at the back, you can see the cable management job. It's pretty decent. It's nothing, you know, magically exceptional. There isn't really too much space to work with behind the motherboard tray in this case, but they did a pretty good job of obviously concealing that from the general view. So I'm pretty happy. So you've seen around the system. Let's take a look at how it performs. Starting with 3 Mark Fire Strike at 1080p, we're looking at 11,400 points. This is pretty impressive and feel free to take a look at 3D Mark's website to compare. Dirt Rally at 1080p on ultra settings was at 84 FPS, uh, which is actually pretty impressive, and Doom on ultra settings as well was 104 FPS, with a minimum of 85 and a maximum of 130, so pretty tight grouping there. GTA 5 is actually pretty similar to Doom at 104 FPS average with a 65 FPS minimum and 139 FPS maximum, so a little bit more variable. And in Unigen Heaven, we're looking at 100 FPS max, uh, 100 FPS average with uh, a bit more of a variation from 9 to 203 in terms of minimums and maximums. Either way, this is a really impressive system. Obviously, GTX 1060 is pretty much what you'd expect, and if you push the resolution, you might get a bit more too. Now, it's not all good. You do have that A320 motherboard, which does mean you can overclock your unlocked 1600 Ryzen CPU, but I would mention that the temperatures kind of uh, suggest you might not want to anyway. With the fan set to high, I had 74 degrees Celsius on the CPU with 83 degrees Celsius on the GPU as its maximum. Now that's not too bad, but it is something to, to mention. Uh, and I'd also mention that uh, Mesh pre-installed Bullguard security software, which uh, I found actively blocked Steam as a virus. So I don't really know what the what the deal is there, but uh, you can uncheck that as an option for pre-install uh, in their you know software configurator. So I personally recommend that you uncheck that. With that said, this is a damn impressive value for money. Mesh computers are selling this one for uh, this specific spec for seven. £739 at the time of filming. I'd also mention that this only draws 170 watts from the wall while gaming, so it's actually pretty power efficient too. It's also really quiet, even when the fans are on maximum, I could barely hear it, so I was really impressed with that. And overall, you get a 6 core Ryzen CPU, you get a 6 gig uh, GTX 1060. 8 gigs of RAM is a little bit limiting here. I would recommend potentially trying to, to push up the price a little bit by going with 16 gigs, but you have an SSD and a hard drive. And you do have that A320 motherboard, but you can also select a B351 if you want some overclocking too. So. Yeah, overall just a really impressive uh, build. Great for gaming, great for content creation and uh, all that sort of stuff. And just really impressive. When it comes to scoring, Vive for Money is going to be a 4.5, so is performance. I think functionality is going to be a 4, as is style. And I think for me, Tetris Beauty score has to be a 4.5 as well. 
is going to get a gold award because it's a really impressive system. I'm kind of blown away by the, the fact that you get a full 6 core Ryzen CPU as well as obviously a 6 gig GTX 1060. It's a fantastic machine for video editing, for you know obviously gaming itself and uh, just a, a really great value for money. If you want to know any more about this system or take a look at the price when and where you watch this, take a look at the links in the description down below and I'll try and include as close to this system spec as I can for you. Also feel free to take a look at the Amazon and Overclock UK affiliate links. They genuinely help me out. They support the channel in making videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So please do use those when you're buying from either of those places. I'm going to leave some other videos over this side for you and the subscribe button over there too. And otherwise that's kind of it. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful and informative. If you did, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. If you've got any questions about this system or anything else, let me know down there too. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video.